Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our family subjects for the 2023-2024 school year. I'm starting with this one because I'll be honest, there are still some aspects of it for this upcoming school year that I'm a little shaky about, but I know that I'll get it together before we start the school year just like I do any other time. I just know that I want these things in here, there are some things I'm gonna to need to supplement that I want to supplement, and I just haven't quite figured out exactly how. But if anything changes, you guys are going to be the second to know because my household will know first, um, but I will let you guys know. So as of right now, this is the direction that we are going in for our family subjects. For Bible, I did not bring all of the Bible resources that we have. We have tons of Bible resources. As of right now, we do not follow a specific Bible curriculum. We just pull out different resources. Some of the things that we pull from are the 100 Devotions Between God and Science. We also do the Tiny Truths Bible. Sometimes we just pick up the Bible and read it. There are other times where we go to the 100 Greatest Stories or 101 Stories of the Bible that we use with our Master Books Language Arts curriculum and talk about that. But one thing that we've been using a lot lately that I really will continue is the Awana Online. It's Awana at Home. So if you know anything about Awana, usually churches do the membership to Awana and they teach their students within the church. I decided to try the at-home version. Our church does not have Awana, but I wanted to try the at-home version and so far we are really enjoying it. So I'm hoping that that will be something that we will continue to enjoy and can move forward with that for our Bible. I'm also thinking about looking at some of the not consumed Bible studies that they have that we can all do as a family. That is one thing that I really enjoy is Bible as a family. Yes, I do have my separate Bible time where I read and I talk to God and all of those things, but I really like doing studies with my girls because it helps them to see us work through it and we're all working on the same thing so they may have a different perspective than what my husband and I have or even their siblings and it just really helps for us all to be focusing in on the same thing so that's something that's really appealing to me about the not consumed bible studies that they have is that they are family centered now you can make any bible study family centered that's not an issue in my opinion but I just really like the not consumed ones I like some of the topics that they talk about talking about sibling relationships and mission work um, just so many different options so that is still on the table for us as well when I solidify the order of our Bible I always come back and do a video about that not just Bible but other things when I'm adding in supplements to kind of give you an idea of how I'm working everything together that will not change I will continue to do that because I think it's super helpful to just really hone in on one specific subject so right now I'm just sharing with you guys some of the ideas that I have uh, for Bible and I will come back later as we get closer to the school year to give you an idea of how those puzzle pieces all truly fit together. Okay, next up is going to be writing slash literature. I try to do writing and literature together, especially with my older girls. Usually this does not include my youngest daughter. She's not at that level. And there is a four year difference between my middle and my youngest daughter. So writing and literature, I usually keep to the older girls and my youngest daughter does listen to our literature studies. But you probably will be a little bit surprised at what we're gonna be doing for writing. Right now, my plan is for us to go back to writing strands. <laughs> <laughs> if you followed along, you know we started writing strands beginning level one actually two years ago, guys, and we have gotten about halfway through this book. Something about it at that time just didn't work for us. I was really trying to make this curriculum be the only writing curriculum that we use to work for both of my older daughters, which was my mistake because it will not. It didn't at the time. One daughter is really, really into creative writing. The other one, it doesn't really care for writing so much, although she has lately expressed a desire to write poetry. And so this could not have been our only resource. However, this curriculum is solid. It's a really great curriculum. And so for my girls to get the foundation for writing, we are going back to this curriculum. It is providing the writing structure and foundation that they need, even though we have one that wants poetry and another one who wants creative writing. They still need the foundational structure and Writing Strands really does provide that. So we are going to zoom through beginning one. And I say zoom through because it's really about developing strong sentence structure. They know how to do that. I just want them to get in the groove of doing this curriculum again because it's been uh, probably about nine months since we have touched this curriculum. So we're going back to it. 
I'm excited about that. Once we get through this one, we will go on to beginning level two, which really focuses on expanding into those paragraphs and the structure of formal writing. Also within the writing slash literature category, I showed these last time, but we are going to do our literature studies. This one is Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, and we are also going to do My Side of the Mountain. I don't have an exact time frame as when we will, but once we roll over to these, we will stop our writing strands until we get these done. These usually take anywhere from four to six weeks, depending on how you move through them. That is my goal is to really do them in a month's time. Read the book, do the literature study, we're done, we'll go back to our writing strands. It gives us a break it refreshes things changes it up and I figured out that in our homeschool when it comes to writing and science and history that is what we need we need those changes and flip-flops we were a unit study family we did tons and tons of unit studies and I'm really trying to get us back in the groove of doing that and with writing you can create unit studies this is a unit study it is a literature unit study so that's what we're going to be doing i also am going to get more and i'm not purchasing them just yet because i haven't decided which direction i want to go if i want to allow my two oldest daughters to pick a book that they want and find a unit study on it pick specific ones steer them towards more classical reading i'm not sure yet but we are definitely going to get these two done and then we'll move on from there all right next up is going to be science we are sticking with master book science again this upcoming school year we do enjoy it but this time we're going to be moving on to god's design heaven and earth this is for beginners this is kindergarten through second grade this is for my baby girl and then we have heaven and earth for my bigger girls this is third through sixth grade so this is what we're going to be doing for science now this one goes over weather and water universe and planet earth I have a ton of kits to add into this curriculum to really bring it to life. I have heard that the some of the experiments are not as great as they are with the um, God's Design for Life one, which is the one that we're currently going through. So I had various kits, which I had last year anyway. So we're gonna dive into this. Um, I really like the Master Book Science because I can do it with all of my girls. It does give you a Christian view of it. We do talk about people who do not have a Christian view and how they believe that this world came about so that they get both perspectives. I provide that, provide that in our home all the time with everything. <laughs> like you just have to do that. We can't put our children in a box um, and not allow them to be able to know what's happening outside of the box for which they are living in. So that's a whole different story, but definitely we're going to stick with the master books science. We are enjoying it right now. So I have kits and everything. As I said before, I will come back and I will show you what I call supplements that we add in to just kind of enhance things, or even if it's just something that we're interested in and it may not be to enhance this curriculum. It's just, we would like to have a different exercise, a different experiment or something that goes along with our science curriculum. So that's what we'll be doing for science. Okay, history, you're probably gonna be like, this is surprising. But for history, we are going back to Master Books, America Story number two. We just finished America Story one. I'm going to link down in the description, the video that I did for the review of America Story one. And I'm also going to link the history resources that we added in and how we went about going through America Story one. I did two videos about that. So I'm gonna put those down in the description. I'll put them at the end of this video as well so that you can really see how we apply America's story to our lives. It's not perfect, no curriculum is, but we enjoyed it overall. And with the added resources that we added to it, it was what we needed. And so we're gonna stick with this um, chronological order. This goes up to the industrial revolution. So we're gonna stay with it. On top of that, which is what we used with America Story One, we are going to continue with our history, his story. And this weaves in the African-American and some Native American ex experience into American history with picture books and fun activities. This one goes up to about 1875 or 1880, somewhere in there. And so America's Story One stopped at like 1850. So we're about to dive into the Civil War and all of those things. And so we're gonna finish up in this one, but then we will get primary level volume two, which takes us all the way up until uh, September 11th. So that will take us through America Story 2 and if we decide to do America Story 3 as well. 
I really enjoy this because it adds in additional picture books, varying perspectives, which is something that is big in our home. If you have followed along at any point in time, I am always talking about how we have amazing discussions about our world and history and science with our girls. So they are not simply close to our beliefs. And we also give them an opportunity to tell us what they think because they may not always think what we think. <laughs> so that is how we are going with our family subjects. Some other things that I'm thinking about adding in is that I feel bad because my youngest daughter, she has not gotten the full unit study science experience that my other daughters have gotten. And so I really wanna add in a few more unit studies within our science. I haven't figured out how yet. I may not, it's just a thought at the moment, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is a possibility.